I'm Dr. Jonathan Huber from the Toronto Hair Transplant Centre. Hi, my name is Dr. Ashlyn Alexander, also from the Toronto Hair Transplant Centre. So we obviously get a lot of questions about PRP. We do PRP, we get a lot of questions from our patients about it. And uh, Google has a lot of questions about PRP. So we thought we would take some time to answer some of the most common questions that we get and that we see online about PRP. Ready? Sounds good. Ready to go? Yeah. I've got those questions right here. Fire away. Okay, so as you might imagine, the first question is, what is PRP and how does it work? Yeah, so that's a very common question, obviously, because it is still relatively new. I mean, it's very common. It's been around for a long time in the orthopedic space, in professional sports, in dentistry, and aesthetic medicine. Um, but it's definitely gaining a lot more popularity in the hair transplant or hair regeneration world, for sure. So um, the way I describe it to patients, it'll be good to hear how you describe it, but I generally sort of say, so you have a test tube of blood, you spin it down in a centrifuge, and it separates into different layers. The top layer is this sort of gold translucent fluid that's full of growth factors and platelets. And that's the PRP, platelet-rich plasma. So it's, it's basically liquid gold. We inject it back into the scalp in non-surgical patients or we soak our grafts in surgical patients. And the idea is that it stimulates new hair growth and enhances the healing of the scalp overall. And then for those people who don't remember their high school biology class, platelets are one of those cells that go around your blood and they heal tissue and regenerate tissue. So we're kind of using that to regenerate and regrow hair. Yeah. Great. Got a question for me? I do. Let's see the second most common question. So okay. can PRP stop hair loss and regrow hair? Right. So the short answer is yes. Uh, in virtually everybody who undergoes PRP, at least we can expect that their hair will, they, they will stop losing their hair. Right. Most people will regrow some degree of hair. And I tell people that the kind of regrowth they get may vary from a little bit of regrowth to a lot of regrowth. And if you look at all the studies put together, you'll generally see about a 25% increase in density, right. which means a 25% increase in the number of hairs that you might have in, let's say, a square centimeter, if you look at that under a microscope. Yeah. Some people are better candidates than others for PRP. So for example, the most ideal candidate would be somebody who's lost their hair within the last five to 10 years. And with PRP, we can maybe regrow that hair that's been lost for five to 10 years. I tell people you have to have some hair to regrow. If you've totally lost all your hair, yep. PRP is unlikely to, to regrow that. So we've got to start with something and we can expect to get back that hair that you've lost in, in about the last five to 10 years or so. Yeah. Is there anybody who you say is not a good candidate for PRP other than those who have lost all of their hair? You know, there are some people who, whom we can't do PRP. So for example, if you have a, a condition of low platelets, for example, right. you're not a good candidate for PRP. Uh, there are certain other uh, small groups of people like pregnant women, that kind of thing. Uh, but most people are good candidates. There's very few, in fact, no known side effects to PRP. So virtually everybody tolerates it very well. I've never seen an adverse reaction. Yeah, and that's what I tell people too. It's, you know, there's, there's no risk of side effects there's no downtime, there's no recovery. You know, I've had friends who had PRP in the morning and were out for dinner that evening and you would never be able to know that it was done. Yeah. So it's a very uh, safe procedure from that standpoint. Yeah, yeah. Awesome, all right, moving right along. How is PRP done? Okay, so the, like you said, it's a pretty quick procedure. You're typically in and out of our office in about 20 minutes or so. So essentially what happens is you'll come to the office, uh, we'll make sure obviously that you're a good candidate for PRP, uh, that it's you know, a procedure that's safe for you. We'll draw your blood, then we take that blood and we process it on site in a centrifuge. That process takes anywhere from about three to six minutes. Uh, then we'll take your PRP, usually we can even show it to you. We'll transfer those platelets into a syringe. We'll put a really tiny needle, it's about a mosquito bite needle, one of the smallest needles you can get. And then we'll uh, lay it down on a surgical table. We'll turn our attention to your scalp and we'll just kind of slowly inject in various parts of the scalp that PRP and we'll, we'll especially focus on the areas where you have thinning. After about 20 minutes, the whole thing is done and you get up and go, you can go back to work. There's no evidence, you can't tell that anything's been done. So you just get back to your normal, yeah. your normal life. How many sessions do you tell people that they typically need? For all intents and purposes, what I tell people is that it may take somewhere between six months and a year before you can kind of start to see those clinical results. Yeah. So in that time, you'll probably have four to five sessions uh, before we can really see something. Yeah, I tell most people three to five sessions in a year and then we reevaluate at the one year mark if everything is going well and we think it's worthwhile. 
then we start what's yeah. called a maintenance phase where every year yeah. you do you know two sessions per year just to maintain yeah. the benefits that you've gained yeah it's pretty simple uh pretty simple process all right so the last most common question that we have is how long does prp take to work and how long does it last? I know we touched on it a little bit, but maybe you could tell us a bit more. Yeah, so it varies from person to person. There are some people who even after the first treatment say that they start noticing some improvements, either slowing down of the progression of their hair loss or maybe even some thickening up of the hairs. But on average, for most people, it's two or three sessions before they start to notice a difference. And I, I sort of just describe it as like, you know, you don't go to the gym and work out once and expect to see results. You've got to have sort of consistency and regularity to it. Um, spoken uh, no as somebody one, no who, wonder I'm not very yeah, fit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> with somebody who never goes to the gym. Uh, but generally, that's sort of the concept of it. So it is sort of a maintenance type thing. And I think as long as you're doing it, then you're going to continue to get those benefits. If you decide one day, years down the road, you're going to stop doing the PRP, you won't be worse off than you've never, if you'd never done it at all. You'll just lose whatever gains you had made. So generally speaking, we say as long as you're doing the treatment, then you're going to get the benefit from it. So if you're using PRP for two years or three years or four years, and then at some point decide, I think I'm going to stop, then you, you might lose whatever gains you made, but you won't be any worse off than if you had never done it at all. Makes sense. So that about sums up all the main questions that we get. Obviously, the best so, thing for people to do is to book a consultation with us. If they want to talk about PRP, they can do that on our live.clinic uh, virtual consultation uh, portal. Or they can feel free to email us or give us a call at any time. Happy to set up a consult and answer any questions, whether it be about PRP or other non-surgical interventions or even surgery. Yeah, we're happy to talk to you about all your options.